Hey everyone, Corndog Hero here with another Peer Pressure production. This is vlog 11 and it is called, What About James Rhodes? As we come to an end uh, in February for Black History Month and after all the much well-deserved hype and success of Black Panther, I gotta ask, what about James Rhodes? Um... Uh, He's injured right now after taking that horrible tumble in Captain America Civil War. Uh, James Rhodes is apparently paralyzed from the waist down, and he is only walking with the assistance of like an exoskeleton type thing, which is what the War Machine armor is. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about who James Rhodes is and where uh, and how you would fix him in the Marvel Universe, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So James Rhodes has been around since Iron Man number one uh, in the comics. Uh, in the original Iron Man back in 2008, he was played by uh, Terrence Howard. Um, and he was replaced in Iron Man 2 by Don Cheadle, and Don Cheadle has stepped into the role marvelously, uh, and he is a pleasure to watch, and he's one of my favorite characters. Um, and I think the bad beat he took could be undone rather quickly between uh, James Rhodes' own status as a colonel in the United States Air Force and through his, you know, billionaire best bro, Tony Stark. And I think there are five pretty easy, substantial ways that you can fix James Rose's uh, paralyzation problem, his spinal injury, uh, in the MCU. And I'm going to talk about them from most likely to least likely. All right, so most likely would be Extremis. Extremis was introduced in Iron Man 3. Um, James Rhodes was all in the middle of that because he was captured by AIM, he would have gotten the intel, and Extremis was developed to help soldiers regrow limbs and to correct physical defects. And they even went so far as to give people powers. So Extremis would be a pretty easy thing to uh, use to fix his problems. Um, especially since Tony Stark uh, helped make uh, the improvements that made it viable. And don't tell me Tony Stark doesn't have an eidetic memory and wouldn't spend the time and the effort to fix his friend if he could. So that's my number one extremist. Number two, in Age of Ultron, Avengers Age of Ultron, we met Dr. Helen Choi. Uh, and she had this cradle tech. And if you recall, uh, they used it to patch up Clint Barton um, after he'd been injured on that last run against Hydra. And that's it. I mean, that was some amazing tech. And later, when Ultron uses the same tech and vibranium to create a synthetic body, and he talks about, like, oh, people don't even know what it's for. I mean, humans take it and they create, like, the most expensive Frisbee in history. Uh, Captain America's shield. You know, like the one over my shoulder. Um, so... Uh, this is what's kind of crazy. It's like, okay, so we've got two things there. And again, Tony Stark is either partnering with Dr. Cho or uh, uh, is funding it completely. So again, that's another way. Don't tell me that tech can't be adapted to help fix uh, a war hero like uh, Colonel Rhodes. Uh, number three. Okay, so getting to least likely because this one comes with some risks. Uh, you know, maybe the cradle tech comes with some risks, but this one comes with some risks. The super soldier serum. And yes, the United States government has some, or they have a derivative of it, because back in 2008, June, after Iron Man came out and like wowed everybody, we got the Incredible Hulk. And in the course of that film, Emil Blonsky, played by Tim Roth, uh, juices up with some enhancile stuff, which is essentially, this is the super soldier serum, or again, a derivative of. And he becomes kind of Captain America light as they go on to take on the Hulk at Culver University. Well, that ended not well for uh, Emil Blonsky as he got kicked in the chest, kind of 300 This Is Sparta style, and got sent end over end flying until he went smack with a sickening thud into a tree, uh, which landed him in the hospital with like splints and braces and a uh, body cast. I mean, he looked like he was down for the count. Well, in that scene, Ross goes off to talk with somebody and he's having a conference. He comes back out with just a few hours bed rest. Tim Roth has taken off his bandages. He's standing up. He's wowing doctors. He's obviously healed. And I mean, this guy took a full-on kick 
from the Incredible Hulk and landed like he'd been thrown from a car into a tree. I mean, we're talking his bones were shattered and splintered, but he's back and he's okay and he's ready to fight again. So I think they could certainly find something uh, like that and ask Colonel Rhodes, hey, we could do this. This could heal you. Risk, sure, but it's there. It's an option. Number four. Okay, so we're getting to the least likely things, right? Like bigger scenarios. Black Panther could send one of Shuri's medical scientists over with one of those nice vibranium spinal injury fixing cocktails that they use to heal Everett Rhodes. Uh, sorry, Everett Ross in. Uh, Black Panther. So they've established that you can already do this, that Wakanda has that kind of tech. Let's remember, Rhodey was on the team trying to apprehend uh, the Wakandan king's uh, supposed assassin. Uh, so I could certainly see T'Challa wanting to kind of send the thank you, like, oh, well, I have people and I have tech that can help with this. Or, more to the point, he would certainly do it now that he's opening up about the secrets of Wakanda. Again, it helps establish Funnily enough, in the Infinity War trailers, we do see that uh, War Machine is going to be with Captain America and others in Wakanda. So we know he's coming. Um, I don't know if he's just going to man up and do it inside the exoskeleton, or if he's going to get some kind of fix between now or between Civil War and uh, Avengers Infinity War. Um, so that's number four for me. Number five. Dr. Stephen Strange, right? Remember, he's a neurologist. He's a master of the mystic arts. He's not quite Sorcerer Supreme yet, but let's face it. He has all the know-how to fix Rhodey, uh, and he has the ability to manipulate the source code of reality, i.e. spells. He could pull this off, right? And if not that, he has the time gem, and we watched him do that whole, I'm going to rewind time, and you saw the... Apple that was eaten become uneaten and whole. Same principle. He could always revert uh, Rhodey to a uninjured state in his timeline and then let him move forward from there. Now, obviously, that'd be breaking the natural laws and stuff, and there's that bill that always comes due. But, hey, it's an option. It's one of the ways you could fix this hero, this uh, United States Air Force colonel, this Avenger. So those are my five ways that we have in the MCU to fix James Rhodes. So why not? I mean, we love him, right? He's a great hero. He's an amazing character. He has been around for decades. So let's fix him. Come on, Colonel Rhodes. Hashtag, why not? Um, Please like, subscribe if you have any comments, if you disagree, or if I've missed a, a method that they could use that's been established in the MCU. Uh, please uh, throw that in there. Uh, I'd like to know. Thank you very much, and bye.